Hi guys, it's 150 sheets, bright white, and it's 110 pound. To me, honestly, it doesn't feel like 110 pound. To me, the Nina brand feels thicker and better. Oh, I'm going to keep this up here, my screen name, because... I don't know how to do a watermark on my videos, throughout my videos, unless I periodically just type it in somewhere on the screen, and quite honestly, sometimes I forget to do that. I want to show you guys how to stamp things in front of things, like this little boy. Instead of selective stamping this guy, which means... I could have done it without masks. I just wipe off this portion over here of this moon. Instead of doing that, I have cut out mat stamped and cut out masks. And that's how I've been stamping those guys. So I thought for those who don't know how to do it, I'll show you kind of the basic gist of it. Because why not? Something different, right? Let's do a mermaid on a rock. Like this little girl looks like she's sitting. Let's make her sit on this rock. What I did with my masks, just so you know, I only have this post-it tape that I got at Joanne Fabric, and none of it is super wide. So I put strips down, I stamped on it, and then I put clear tape over it for two reasons. One, it holds all the pieces together until I decide to buy wider post-it tape. And two, by having the clear tape on it, you can wipe them off. I'll show you what I mean. And it makes it last longer and you can use it more than just a couple of times. Anything that you want in the front, stamp first. I cannot possibly be the only person that does that. Open up an ink pad and promptly stick a finger in it. Alright, so I have my little girl stamped up here. I'm going to put her up here because I can always cut it smaller once I get everything stamped out. But if I put her too low, then I won't have room for my rock. Now I need my little rock. Now you just line this up and stamp it where you want it. And I'm hoping that I did not just have my head in the way. Alright, now what I was saying about being able to wipe this off. See this part right here on the mermaid? Let's pick her up so I don't mess it up. See how she's sitting on her rock? Cute, right? But I don't necessarily want this wet ink on here for me to stick a finger in. And since I put clear tape over it, I can just wipe it off and it's ready for the next time. So, I'll stick her back down here. And what I always do is, you know, you have the printed image here. I just put it on this side and I know that the stamp is on the exact opposite. But that's how you put things on things on things. And if you line it up right, you see it looks like her hand is resting on the rock as well. So now I need my blending tools and my distress ink. Now I need my blending tools and my distress ink. The one I'm going to start with is this shaded lilac because it really has a blue hue in my opinion. To me it looks more blue than it looks purple, but it works perfectly with these other two colors. 
then I'm just going to gently start going around my in images first. And you can go over top of them because if you put tape over them like I do, you can just wipe it off. This one will be hard to see for a little bit. So these three are the three I used. Now, let's get ready to peel these guys off. Cute, right? Now I can just color these guys. I don't have to worry about putting an ocean in. I have a little bit of this, um, what's this stuff called? Wink of Stella. And I'm going to put this on this turtle. On his little face and on his little shell. I cut this little girl down to four and a half by three and seven eighths. And then I chose this pink paper that was in this, um, what are they called? That one pound scrap paper or slash cardstock. Some's paper, some's cardstock. This I cut at four by four and five eighths. I just thought it looked pretty with her little hair. And then this black one I cut at four and seven eighths by four and an eighth. And I just matted that with this little light purple. No, no, no. Let's do this one. littler one. Another littler one. Hmm. So let me know what you guys think. Thanks for spending a little bit of time with me. I certainly appreciate it. I hope you guys have a great day and a glorious tomorrow. Bye, guys.